These are two movies. Both of them found footage. Both of them about Bigfoot. Both of them have similar runtimes. Both of them released in the same year of 2014, and yet somehow they were received very differently critically. Let's talk about it. But it's a little cramped in here, isn't it? I think to talk about this movie further, we're gonna have to go on a little expedition. this thing on? Welcome to my Bigfoot expedition. It's been three days. <laughs> I'm lost tonight. Just kidding. Okay, so let's start talking about Willow Creek, um, directed by Bobcat Goldwaith. So I think for the whole video, I refer to him as Bobcat Goldwaith, but it's actually Bobcat Goldwaith. So, sorry. It is about a boyfriend and girlfriend. The boyfriend is super into Bigfoot. And so for his birthday, they travel down to Willow Creek, which is where uh, the famous uh, Bigfoot video was taken, like in the 60s. I'll throw up a picture. You've, you've seen it before. You know what I'm talking about. So they want to go there for his birthday. So they go, and he films the whole thing like a documentary. And as you can expect, things could get uh, a little crazy. It's a short movie, about an hour and... 17 minutes and it takes very big inspiration from the Blair Witch Project and that's just a hunch. In an interview Bobcat Goldwaith did with Eric Kahn of IndieWire, he was asked about the found footage genre and he said, quote, I haven't had to watch a bunch of them. I've seen a few. I really wanted to see if I could do suspense. A lot of filmmakers I admire do these really suspenseful scenes where there's not a lot going on. So that was a big challenge that interested me. But look, I jokingly call it the Blair Sasquatch Project. I'm the first one to do that. Both movies are about uh, people venturing into the woods making documentaries about um, this local legend. And both movies start with interviews. So uh, the couple in Willow Creek, uh, they go and interview locals in Willow Creek. Um, and I keep getting so superstitious, someone's behind me. Or is it Bigfoot? In the Blair Witch Project, they spend the first 13 minutes of the movie interviewing locals, setting up the superstitions and theories around this entity. In Willow Creek, they spend the first 31 minutes just interviewing people, um, which is a lot, and I calculated it is 40% of the movie is spent just interviewing people. What's interesting, walk with me, um, What's interesting is that the director, Bobcat Goldwaith, said they actually interviewed real locals from Willow Creek. Um, and so what you're seeing and watching is the real locals giving their opinion on whether or not Bigfoot exists, which I thought was really interesting. And a lot of the locals weren't even told that they were in a fictional movie. They thought they were just in a documentary. So they are giving their true opinion about, oh my god, this is such <laughs> steep incline. I, I can't talk while going up this incline. So these locals are giving their true unfiltered opinion on whether or not they think Bigfoot is real or not. So interviews are the first 30 minutes and they finally go out into the woods where there is a one take 22 minute tent scene. That's right, it is this one shot, this one take inside the tent for 22 minutes. And again, by crunching the numbers, this scene takes up 28% of the runtime of the movie. Now there are some interesting things that happen, like there's a character moment where the guy proposes to his girlfriend and the girlfriend says no and, and she's not ready for it and it's, it's awkward. So that's a good character moment building between them. Um, other than that, the uh, scariest thing that happens is some things brush up against the tent or some things are thrown at the tent um, and then they scream. It's very reminiscent of the Blair Witch tent scenes, but the difference there is just the editing and pacing. Again, there is no 22 minute long one take in Blair Witch. Um, so it's really 
can go back to this quote that uh, he gave in the interview. So yes, these long takes are meant to build up suspense, suspense of whatever is out there in the moment. So our couple finally gets out of the tent and they are terrorized. They hear noises and run around chased by whatever this thing is out there. Again, very reminiscent of the scene in Blair Witch where they hear something at night and run out of the tent screaming. A lot like that. Um, and that's when it is the scariest, the most suspenseful. You're on the edge of the seat. That is the last seven minutes of the movie. Only seven minutes. And that's the difference. In the interview, uh, Bobcat Goldwaith does not mention horror. He mentions wanting to make a suspense movie. And this is what that is. It's suspense. Blair Witch is trying to scare you. Willow Creek makes you question reality by using real locals, giving their real opinion on whether or not Bigfoot is real. The movie never confirms if Bigfoot is real. There's not a single shot indicating that Bigfoot's there. It's just based on what you've heard. And again, it's a lot like Blair Witch where like the witch is never shown on camera, but there's the pile of the rocks, there's the totem things. There's some stuff that can indicate towards that, you know, Josh going missing. Um, but in Willow Creek, it's just really noises and you don't know what's out there. The goal is to make you question your reality, much like the locals have questioned their reality. It seems like Goldwaith did his research. He had Bigfoot professionals on the crew at all times. Um, he, it seems like he really delved into the community. And that's what I really like about this movie. Okay, so um, my digital camera died. Um, and ran out of battery. I guess that's um, par for the course of any um, uh, horror movie, right? The thing you need runs out of batteries. Um, so now I'm just filming on my phone, which makes it better quality and ruins the aesthetic, but whatever. Um, I'm, out, I'm out here in the woods and I'm not stopping now, so we're gonna keep filming on the phone. From the interview, he says he really like submerged himself in this Bigfoot culture. Um, and that really shows because he's not making fun of them in any way. Um, it's not being disrespectful in the sense of him showing Bigfoot like clearly on screen, this big scary monster that will rip you limb from limb and showing all this gore around it. But he's also not calling it a hoax either by just saying it's not real, it's fake. He just breadcrumbs enough just so you can make your own decision based on it and question what is real, what is not. And probably the thing I love most about this movie is just how it was made. Uh, there was only a seven person crew, completely self-financed. Um, and what I love about it is if you wanted to, you could recreate this movie shot for shot on a budget of probably $10, assuming you already own camping gear. They shot the whole thing on one camera and edited the whole movie on that camera too. There is a total of 67 cuts and the whole thing, only 67. Um, again, that goes to the um, 22 minute tent scene. So Willow Creek is more of a slow psychological suspense than a in your face horror movie. Bigfoot, big scary monster gonna kill you. He's after you. Um, that movie would be- the cameras! exists came out in 2014 four months before willow creek did in the states that is um and it is the complete opposite we actually see proof of bigfoot existing five minutes and four seconds into the movie we get our first glimpse at bigfoot and again it's a blurry picture but at least it's something and it only gets more clear throughout the movie that oh yeah it lives up to the title Bigfoot exists. The movie follows a friend group of five people all going out to um, someone's uncle's cabin in the woods. And of course their uh, uncle was kind of a conspiracy theorist around Bigfoot. So, you know, they go out there into the woods for the weekend to party. It's like how all these movies start, but then slowly but surely 
Bigfoot starts attacking. And I won't spoil why, but I mean, it's pretty easy to guess. To get technical, the first time we see Bigfoot is five minutes into the movie, but Bigfoot first attacks 23 minutes into the movie. But once that 23 minute mark hits, it's non-stop action from there on out. You just watch as these people come under attack and have to survive, they have to hide. Uh, from this Sasquatch that is out to get them. And so as the movie progresses, we see more and more in clarity of this Sasquatch creature. Um, and by the very end of the movie, we're talking like full on close up center of the frame. Like he's there, he exists. Um, and it's basically the complete antithesis of what Willow Creek is. And in part of that, the complete antithesis of the Blair Witch Project. Funny I should mention that Exists is directed by the co-director of the Blair Witch Project, Eduardo Sanchez. It's as if he made this movie to respond to all the haters of Blair Witch who are saying like, oh, it's so boring. It's just people walking in the woods for an hour. Oh, it's just them screaming about being lost. There's nothing scary. They're just screaming. So Eduardo comes back and was like, oh yeah, you want a monster movie? You want people in the woods getting shredded and teared apart and crying and bleeding and screaming? Okay, I got you. And so he made this movie. And it's easy to say that movies like Willow Creek or Blair Witch are like more, since they're more psychological, they're more for intelligent people. You have to be smart to understand it and exists is just some dumb monster movie for general audiences who can't critically think and just go, ooh, monster scary. And to that I say, I myself am living proof that I enjoy both. I think both Blair Witch and Exists are excellent movies. I First time I watched Exists, I was hooked. I was in it, it grabbed my attention. And part of that is uh, the direction of Eduardo Sanchez. He knows how to do this found footage thing. He kind of pioneered it in 1999 and had us watched it evolve up until 2014. And in a way was like, if these are what these movies are, might as well play the game a little bit and do my, you know, fun jump scare movie instead of slow burn, whatever. And both are just different genres trying to achieve different things and both achieve them. Tie that into Willow Creek. I think Willow Creek achieves everything it sets out to do. It's gets in your head, it's slow burn, the 22 minute tense scene, I will say in my opinion, could be cut down, um, but it makes you question things. And there's some, it's genuinely scary at the end. And I'm sorry for the clickbaity title, but overall I think there is no one way to do a movie. There's no one way to do a horror movie. No one way to do a suspense movie. No one way to do a found footage movie. There's no one way to do a Bigfoot found footage movie released in 2014 with a runtime approximately of one hour and 16 minutes. In the same interview with IndieWire, Goldweight was asked if he knew about the movie Exists, to which he said, I'm aware of Exists. I hope it's a good movie and does well. I don't feel competitive. I remember a few years ago when there were like four movies that had the Freaky Friday theme. 17 again, big, you just hope you make the big and not one of the lesser versions. Audiences are diverse and want different things. And when artists are also diverse and create different things, that's just better for everybody. Um, so there is no one way to do a Bigfoot movie. Um, example is Sasquatch Sunset coming out soon whenever I release this video. Take a look at that. That's definitely not anything like Willow Creek or exists. It's something completely separate and when a director makes a movie about their interpretation of a sasquatch it's going to be different and that's beautiful art is beautiful i don't know maybe it's just me being out in nature taking a hike going outside for the first time in like three weeks um i'm 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 i'm, I'm in a grateful uh, beautiful mood um that being said you watching this you're beautiful i love you thank you for watching if you like found footage horror movies that are related to the blair witch project somehow because i cannot stop yapping about blair witch but i will never make a video directly about blair witch check out this video about the last broadcast it's a found footage horror movie that came out one year before blair witch did um thank you um so thanks for watching and 
I'm sorry to Josh's mom. I'm sorry to 